having a stiff back or one that's in spasm? Hi, I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, the High Octane Dad, helping to unlock the superhuman potential inside every father. And a few things, maybe you've been sitting for a while or you sit for your office work and you go to stand up. There's some stiffness. You have a hard time moving your body. It feels like your back is in spasm and you want to relax it. Or maybe you have a back injury. Maybe you have sciatica or, or like me, you've had back and spinal surgery. If that's the case, it's important that you take care of your back. Please like and subscribe to this video down below and leave me your comments and questions as I want to keep making content that's important to you. When it comes to the back, of course, it's not a one size fits all. You want your back to be strong. You want it to be flexible. You want to take off unnecessary weight off your body. But let's say that you just need a little something and you can't just run out and go to the chiropractor. You're at work or at home, your back stiffens up. What can you do to take away some of the pressure right away? Let me show you the founder stretch. You want to start with your feet about two feet apart. Your knees are going to be slightly bent. Your back is going to be flat as much as possible. We're trying to really get the spine straight and long and we're going to take your arms and we're going to keep them straight and we're going to stretch out at first and then up as high as possible. The goal is to feel like you're doing a little bit of traction with your back. Your weight is going to be backwards on your heels but your arms forward so you're getting pulled in both directions. We're pulling the spine apart, elongating it, allowing room for the disc and the vertebrae to have a little bit more wiggle room. You're going to feel less pressure on the body when you do that. So think about leaning back almost to the point that you feel like you're tipping over, but your arms are out in front of you, which is pulling you the other way, stretching your spine all at the same time. And while although it's great if you have a young spine and you're very flexible, let's say that you're a little bit older and or have had spinal surgery before in the past, the range of motion isn't going to be as great or as high, but you could perform the same motion. You can see that I have nowhere near the amount of spinal flexion that Alyssa does, but I'm trying to keep my back straight and elongating it. This takes pressure off my mid-thoracic back and my lower lumbar spine. I like to do it in a pulsing sequence where I'll stretch and hold for about 5 seconds and then release. Others teach it where they go out and hold for 20 seconds, 30, even up to 60 seconds at one time. I feel that's harder to do and I'm more likely to cramp in that position. 5 seconds at a time, keep breathing while you're doing it, do about 3 bouts of it and you can do it several times a day. Once again, relatively easy to do. Anyone can do this. In fact, if you want to do it a few times per day, even better. Will it cure your back and fix it for good? Well, no, it won't do that. But it will help loosen you up. It will help get you moving again and take away some of the pressure and pain that you might be having. During the course of a day, I find it much better to do that than to try to stretch your calves or your quadriceps or even just walk around the block. In fact, for me, walking even tightens my spine up even more. But doing the founder stretch, the foundational stretch, can really loosen your body up. You'll get back to work, be more productive, and feel better. You could also use it, of course, if you get out of the car or sometimes even in the morning when you wake up to kind of loosen up and get ready for the day. So hopefully today this video serves you. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, the high-octane dad, helping to unlock the superhuman potential inside every father.